everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of The Duelist. So today we're going to take that duo duel. So I did post the poll on the uh, on my YouTube channel. Thanks very much for people who answered. And I think it was like 79% the last time I checked had said I should uh, use one of the Royals pilots. Although it was strange because at the very beginning, the third option was, ah, just see if 1v2 gets you killed. And at first, like I think it was like one person that uh, said go for it. And now it's like... All of a sudden, the last time I looked at it, it was up like around 17% out of like, I think it was like 70 responses. So people were like, yeah, just do it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with uh, the second pilot. And I'm going to do what I mentioned. I think it was in the Royals. I mentioned at the end of the Royals maybe. But going with Tugboat um, in the Locust. So we're going to go with that route because really that's the only mech. If we go to the mech bay here. I generally don't, don't like talking about the Royals in this one, but... Uh, the Thorn has been completely rebuilt. It's slightly di different than it was before. Um, you guys will get to see that in the uh, Royals. But they're going to be out for a little while anyway. So um, we're definitely going to be going with the Locust today. Now, there's in the store, there's also a Clan Medium Pulse Laser um, that I want to grab. So if we make some sea bills today, that's I'm going to go ahead and buy that for the uh, hatchetman because we're pretty, nice um, to see you down here like pretty hole. low on stuff we can do with this with this hatchetman right now. So um, now there was also a post mentioning that I really shouldn't be too too concerned about like, you know, um, sharing between the royals and this guy. I want to, I kind of get the point, right? So I mean, the royals picked up a, a claw, for instance. You know, we could always trade them for something like I, I, I feel that it needs to there needs to be some kind of balance there because if I just grab stuff that the Royals grab, then I'd be more inclined to be grabbing items that I know the duelist could use, which I would rather not do in the Royals playthrough. I want to keep them kind of as pure as possible. And same thing with this one. I want to just grab stuff that I know I can use. And then if we get other stuff to trade, that's fine. So that's what, kind of how I'm going to go. I'm not going to worry too, too much about it if the dollar value is the same or whatever. I'm just going to you know, bounce stuff back and forth and try and keep it roughly equal. Um, so that being said, let's just jump into the battle. We're pretty close to being like, um, like maxed out here. I mean, a lot of these heat, heat sinks can come out. Like I can pull out the ER medium, put in the, the uh, medium pulse and take, in, take out a heat sink. That'll work. So, um, but yeah, let's um, jump into the, straight into the battle here. So go to the command center. Now this is a one skull. Not, I don't know what to expect, right? Um, trial of precision it is um don't let your warriors get defeated too badly yeah i hope we don't get defeated at all so it i think it's against um oh planetary government okay so it i just i almost foolishly said yeah you know <laughs> it's not it's um i don't have to worry too much about it because it's only the planetary government but yeah I said it. I know I shouldn't have said it, but all right, let's, um, actually, let's just do it this way. Let's just pull these guys out. We'll leave Tugboat where she is. It's fine. Hatchetman can come down and Vengeance. We don't have any skill points to spend quite yet. I am going to ask what we should do next. Um, which one of these guys we should go with next. Uh, probably going to end up uh, being gunnery. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think the, um, the plus two to max evasion is going to really help us out unless we get a super, super fast mech, which we might be able to make the Sentinel, but Vengeance is stuck in the Hatcherman, so that's not going to really help him unless we get something in the future that's going to be really fast. So until that point, I mean, we may want to go with Gunnery, I don't know, for the OP accuracy, but we'll see how that goes. All right, let's just do this. Yeah, I know it's, I know it's underweight. Command interface All right, initiated. here we go. Yeah, we're well, we're familiar familiar with this map. So I'm um, thinking we're going to play tugboat as a distraction. So they're probably both up there. We'll play her as a distraction um, in order to get this guy in close. Let's get you up there. So what do they got here? That looks like a mongoose, but I don't think it is. And I'm not really recognizing this guy. Um, that's not a thorn, is it? 
Christ, I hope not. Too many thorns. All right. Um, definitely go with field command. Get some better initiative next turn. And I'm going to break uh, this way. I'm going to go into the mineral field here. Copy. Okay. That should help out. Good evasion. Yeah, it is a thorn. Oh, it's a talon. And a brigand. Oh, interesting. So you're 30, right? 30 tons? 35 tons. Not a lot of armor. Heavy PPC, though. That's not good. I mean, it's good if we can get it, but it's not good if he's shooting us with it. Medium X pulses and flamers. And 487, you're 25 tons. So that's not too bad. I mean, our tonnage is about the same. What? No. Um... Let's get behind the rock over here. Okay. So, we can't let them get a direct line of sight on us. Holy shit, that guy's fast. Orders? I need you to bring him to me. Um, let's get up here. Acknowledged. Can use the terrain to our advantage. I'm here. Okay, let's get him over here, like that. Oh boy, here we go. See if we can bring him down this way. If we can slap chop that guy into oblivion before he gets a chance to do anything, that would be real sweet. Ah, oh, you fucking hiding on me. All right, he's gonna get a shot at us next turn. I live to serve. So we gotta close, I think. Or, he's just so fast, I don't want him to get behind me. Um, that's telling me that's, I think that's rubble, not mineral field. I don't know, it could be mineral field. It does say it's mineral field. Okay, let's get over here. Double time. Let's go. Hey. Okay, field command. Gonna go right here. Up for what it's worth. Get some distance between me and that heavy PPC. I don't know if he can really see. He might be able to see me. We'll find out here in a second. Definitely sees me now. Hey, what's up, buddy? You just... You walked into a shitstorm. I'm not gonna fuck around with this guy. I'm gonna just try and murder him. But we're gonna murder him from... Oh, we can't murder him. Good play. Uh, let's get on his side. On the way. Stay in the mineral Double field. Down. He definitely knows we're here now, but ah, he's gonna get a good shot at us. Let's just wind it up. I know they're gonna jam, but we're not gonna get this. Oh shit! It's gonna kill our heat too, which means we're not gonna be able to. Let's go there. Let's do this one. Locked on target. All right, not bad. Machine guns did some good work. What now? It's gonna want to keep shooting at you. I don't want to give that guy a shot at me though. So let's get here. I'll try. He might want to keep shooting at you. I don't know. It might be a better chance to hit just because I've I got three evasion plus all the stealth, right? So he's coming to help. Oof, really? What's this guy doing now? Coming in for the back shot or attempting to? Doesn't have enough to use that heavy PPC though. Yes, Commander. So this is either going to end up being really good or really bad.
73, eh? If he's got an XL, it's pretty much a kill shot anywhere but the CT. Well, either torso is a, is a kill shot. Physical weapon for sure. Let's go. That's what this match is about. Let's do it! Oh, man. That was an arm hit, I think. Okay, was that an arm hit? Okay, he's giving me his back. I'm here. Okay, you go on 14, I go on 14, which means I need to get close enough to get a offensive push on him, but I can't get a shot at him. He's too far. Ah, shit, he's gonna go before me. Yeah, we hit the PPC arm. Of course we did. If we're going to hit anywhere, it's going to be the damn PPC arm. Well, let's come back in here and see if he takes a shot at the Locust. I mean, I'd rather not the Locust take damage. Because we are just borrowing it, technically. Ooh, nice shooting. Strip a lot of that armor off his back. Back CT. Where are you going? He's running. Commander? He's got the speed to get away from me, too. That's the problem. I mean, I could tr keep trying to chase him down. But he's going to get the... He's going to get range on me with that PPC. I mean, we could try and kill the... Ah, man. Let's go after him. I think we try and stick on him. If he's panicking, let's try and stick with him. Yeah, we got to get speed. We need a way bigger engine. Way too hot. Machine gun's not adding that much. Let's leave the ER medium off for now. Fire this. Okay, we two with the X pulse, not bad. Or the uh, medium clan pulse laser. Ooh, we got one on. Light damage, Commander. It's not my important arm, hey. though, so... I could try and get closer to this guy, but I think going here, he's going to have a hard time getting a shot at my back. So let's do that. Going as fast as I can. If I move in a little closer, he can just get behind me right away. So it's not too, too bad. Stripping the armor. Ooh, got the X-Pulse. Alright, what's this guy gonna do? He's just that much faster than me, you know? If this guy was accurate, we'd be in a lot of trouble. I'm ready. Yeah, we don't quite have the speed. This is going to prompt him to try and get around behind me. That gives him less opportunity. Let's just get to here. On my way. Don't have the opportunity to melee him, so we won't take it, obviously. We'll just go with these. I hate the fact that I can't get these freaking lasers going. The laser's got a little better chance to hit, but I'm firing six rounds from the, each of these, so we have we can at least do some damage, you know? Let's fire them. Firing at enemy six. So that's pretty good. Take it. So there's a question, it was a good question about um, in inheritance. Somebody asked me, you know, you put together an energy build, but didn't put in the tactical computer and the battle computer energy. And I kind of get the point, but the battle computer energy gives you plus one to hit. Minor damage. And the, um, let's see here. Let's get down on this. Wait, why can't I rotate my camera? What now? My right click's not working. That's bizarre. Um, so yeah, so the medium, um, 
This could be bad or it could be really good. One of the two, the medium um, laser build that I put together for the rattlesnake had six medium lasers in it. And it had a uh, targeting computer that had, let's just fire so we make sure we hit. It had plus one gunnery to it. Not enough. So it's plus one gunnery, which gives you 2%. So roughly a plus one to hit is I think like five to 6% to your chance to hit. Um, so if I dropped a medium, I'd have to drop a medium laser to be able to get the battle computer energy in there. And if I drop a medium laser, right, to get, to gain some, oh, I still can't hit this guy. And my right click is now gone. Um, major stability issues, but there's a chance for a kill here. You know what? We've got the, uh, We've got the uh, Vigilance here, so let's confirm that. Let's try for the kill on this guy. That's really heating us up though. But I think this guy's got to go down, so let's just go after him. So as I was saying, if we... Um, there we go. Uh, so six medium lasers, right? With the targeting computer that we have now, or the, the headgear that we have now. Um, Okay, let's just get into here. We don't have much choice. Uh, I'll turn these off. Drop a little bit of heat, just go with the pulse laser and fire. Engaging target. So, for me, in my mind, this is how I think. I, I, I don't think there's a correct answer to this, but mathematically, when I'm thinking about it, this is how I think about it. So, you've got six medium lasers. Oh, now I can, now I can move it. Um, i got six medium lasers. Each of them, let's say they, let's say they would give you a 50% chance to hit. Let's try and take this heavy PPC out. I don't want to get shot with this thing. I'll try. Um, so let's say the six medium lasers, right? They can give you a 50% chance to hit. With the build I have right now, I get plus 2% for the cockpit, right? Okay. Bye. So, um, so it's 52% chance to hit with six medium lasers. If I drop one and put the battle computer energy in, right? Now I'm down to five medium lasers, right? Firing at 50%, plus about five or six percent, roughly, for the battle for the battle computer, um, and um, that gives me five shots at about 55%. And you can see why I want to go with the extra laser, right? So if I hit half of them uh, out of six, I'm hitting with three. But with the other setup, with five of them, if I fire them, right, I'm I might hit with three or I might hit with two. So I'm doing overall, I think, less damage. So that's, that's my thought behind it, and that's why I normally go that route. Now, if you're doing a build where you've got big laser weapons, where you're relying on hitting, like if you've got like um, large X-pulses, or if you've got PPCs, or like a bunch of large laser, lasers, or you're running like um, the clan large heavy lasers, then yeah, the battle computer energy is definitely worth getting those extra percentages because you want to land that 80 that 80 damage but if you're running a lot of small lasers if you can get it in fantastic but I, I it's for me it's not a in the early game like this it's not a make okay. or break thing and that's how i think about it. now i can be convinced otherwise i'm not like completely close-minded to changing my mind on that but if you guys there. if you if okay. you guys like have a different thought on it i'm i'm open to uh so I'm totally open to that. Now, the one thing, one advantage though that the the battle computer gives you um, is is the battle computer energy is going to give you an extra four percent to your. Um, did he hit or did he just splash it? Um, it's going to give you an extra four percent uh, chance for your. Um, Uh, where are we going to go? I don't want to go through the heat, so let's go here. It's going to give you an extra 4% chance for your offensive push, and I do have a clan targeting computer, so I could have put that in, which gives you plus 2 to your offensive push, which, you know, might have been a good thing. What if I wind all these up? We're both the same. Way more chances to hit, though. 
Let's go this route. Target lock on enemy six. The Cobra strike. Engine crit. Nice. Um, Standing by. So, you're getting your bonus targeting. So if I decide that I want to be pulling legs off or doing things like that, then yeah, it totally, like, go for it. But if your pilot is, like, new, right, uh, and your chances to hit, like, and you don't have, like, a, a half-decent, like, optic system and things like that in it, so your percentage chances to hit are mediocre at best, you're better off not even bothering because it's going to be very rare that you're going to get the chance to use that. So I would rather have more weapons that are hitting on average more often than like those specific pinpoint weapons. And that's my only re that was my only reasoning behind it. I don't think there's one like perfect solution for everything. Um I might get S flames on the way there, right? I got oh man, I got to move. 14 points left in the torso. How much does your arm have left? Like almost nothing. What if I just This thing runs super cool though. It says 29% coming around behind him. It might be a little higher, though. 61 there. What's his back torso say? It's got 40. I was going to say we could try and pull the torso, but I think we try and pull the arm. I think we need to pull the arm. The question is, is do I back up to do it, or do I... I need to shoot it from the side. We're going to take the heat. We're going to move right here. Uh, and hope. We don't have enough vigilance to get initiative, so we're going to hope that our uh, our field command gives us initiative next turn. Let's hammer this guy in the side. Hopefully we can take that arm. Come on, man. Fuck, really? Ah! Okay, he's on fire, which means he's probably not going to shoot it. Nope. Oh, it's medium laser hits, I think. Orders. <sighs> I want him to come to me. I do. Double time. Go. Still got armor. I shouldn't have ran. I should have just walked because then I could have braced. Oh, man. Do I reserve here? You. He's coming at me with a PPC. How far do I... Like, if he gets up on this hill, I can't get to him. Where can I go that I'm going to be hiding from this guy? Well, if I go here, he's got to move forward to shoot me if he wants to. If he doesn't want to shoot me, then let's go here. Roger that. I don't want to wait for him to move. Because we can't shoot anyway. Or we won't be able to get him anyway. At least this way. Okay, he's running through fire again. Going with the medium lasers. We're going to go after the arm. I can't have this guy hit me with this PPC. Commander? Hmm. I can't physical weapon his back, unfortunately. I can't hear, though. Let's hope we get it. Oh my god, no. Hopefully the machine guns land it. No luck. There we go. Got it. Neck to that was a tough one. Damn it, man, that locust. Mission successful. Yeah, so that was my feeling on battle computers anyway. Like I, I find they're good, but you gotta for me, anyway, I gotta have a build that you can really take a lot of advantage of them. And just having that extra percentage to hit, if you're losing weapons in order to be able to put it in, um, especially at lower levels and even at higher levels, like if you've got a lot of smaller weapons, 
you're not really getting the advantage of it. Okay, so that was the engine loss. That was an XL. That's that's bad. Okay, let's see if there's an XL here. Um, there's a medium X pulse. Gyro XL. Now, because we killed both of these guys with the uh, Mana Prototype Double Heat Sink Kit. No wonder he wasn't taking any heat. So, okay. So now if I had this targeting computer, it's a little different because you get plus one accuracy with ranged weapons, right? Plus one evasion pips in Nord, right? Yeah, you're getting recoil, but no big deal. If you got a mech that's darting in and darting out, extra gen heat gen, not such a big deal. So you're basically ignoring one evasion, getting one accuracy with this, plus one more accuracy with the um, the uh, energy weapon. And it's actually then starts to become very worth it, right? Because that's like could, could be like another 15 to 20% chance to hit. Which, you know, with five weapons running at 70% chance to hit is a little better than six running six weapons running at 50% at, um, chance to hit because now you've got a chance to get to land maybe four, right, as opposed to landing only three. It's like going to be three or four hits as opposed to like three hits, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm really just interested to hear uh, what people think about that. All right, so um, I hate to say this, but I think we got to take the um, ah crap. See, this is what I was afraid of losing the um, losing the uh, non dualist mech. I think we got to take this and we got to give it to them. Because they're losing a pulse laser. I mean, maybe we get one of the two mechs and we can give that up and then we can keep the pulse. The X pulse. I mean, it's kind of nice when we're closing, but right now our heat's so ridiculous, right? We need, we really need double heat sink. We already have an XL gyro. I mean, I could get that for the... Uh, uh, we got XL gyro and endo steel for this guy still. So, I mean... Technically, this has got to go to the Royals. So, maybe the Heavy Pharaoh. i got to think about how we're going to get that Locust back up and running. Heavy Pharaoh, maybe? XL Gyro is minus 30% weight for the engine. The engine's pretty light as it is. But Heavy Pharaoh, it's already like a light enough mech. It's like barely any armor on it, so we're not going to be losing that much. Hmm. I think we take this. Because that'll replace the small and the medium pulse laser. A pair of pirate flamers, though. Minus one accuracy. Recoil of one. I wonder if that would be better with the uh, locust. Put a pair of flamers on that can do 36 heat. Interesting. And bonus damage versus overheat, but damage varies between plus and minus ten. I don't really care about the damage. I want the heat, right? So if we're gonna do it, let's let's grab this because I think that could probably work well with the locust build. Maybe. Let's go that route, and see. I mean, the X pulse is nice, but for the pinpoint damage. But if I want to get components, it's nice to be able to overheat the enemy. And this is we're gonna be on this planet for a while. It's a very hot planet, so. Flamers are probably going to come in really handy. So let's take those. Alright, we only got one talent piece. Standard fire, con fire control system, so that can just go. Uh, the jump jets we should have lots of, I think, right now. 14, so we can sell all of the jump jets, which isn't much. And we'll hold on to the mace, because that'll probably go on to... Um, the Spectre, I think. So we'll give them the talent parts, the heavy pharaoh, the flamer, and we'll keep the mace. All right, 72,000. That's a bit of a pain. It's nice that these are lighter mechs, though, because otherwise it would just be ridiculous in the cost of repair. So the Locust, we'll get back. We'll get that fixed. Um, yeah, I got to drop. I don't know. How many more days until... Six days till the financial report. So let's bring the Wavern up. I don't know who is going to get a shot at the next mission. Bring the thorn up. 
So that's seven days, 18 days, 19 days. So it's going to be 19 days before all the mechs are back. We're going to run into financial problems eventually. I mean, we still got a, like four or so more months to go before that happens, but we'll see how it evens out. Like pulling off one mission a month for each of them is going to be a problem. Um, we really need to get the third mech bay up and running, but I just, I can't spend the sea bills right now because I don't even know if we're going to go bankrupt in the next little bit. Like that's, that's a fair bit of money to get that third one up and running. We need at least 5 million or, or so to get it going properly. So, um, yeah, well, we'll just wait and see. I'm going to end this episode here though, guys. Um, I'm interested to see what you think about the, the energy build in, down in the comments. And depending on what happens at the financial report on days, like six days from now. So all the uh, contracts will, will switch at that day. Uh, I should probably buy from the store, though, before it goes away. Let's grab you. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy the... Well, we got a bunch of VR smalls already. we got four of them, I think. I mean, that's the other thing, too, is we could run a small build on the Locust rather than the Pulse Laser build. Get an extra laser in there. We've got four. Well... Technically, it's only three for the Royals because one of them belongs to the Pirate or the uh, Duelist playthrough. So let's buy this. It's only 14 grand. ER Large, weapons. we still have one. I don't think there's anything else here. I mean, I should probably buy... Wait, do we have... We have an Ultra 2, right? I'm going to buy... That's a half load. Let's buy two half loads. New equipment available. I'm going to buy the Ultra 10 ammo. It's double. Uh, and the 20, let's, uh, I don't want to spend the money, but let's buy it. I'm going to buy two more of these, actually, because they're so cheap. LBX cluster. I just don't know when I'm going to see them again. This is super cheap, so let's buy that. A couple ton or a couple of uh, things of that. And I think we'd leave it there for purchases. And see what happens at the end of the month. Now that'll switch again. This will change at the end of the month. So hopefully we get something. Um, and I'm not 100% sure. But I think when you log out and log back in, that might change as well. Something tells me that the last month that we passed, I checked the store and it had changed. And then I think when I came back, I checked the store again and it was different. I could be wrong. Maybe let me know in the comments if you guys have encountered that before. Uh, but I don't want to game the system and try and like get more gear. But you know, if we're not traveling around from planet to planet to find stuff, I don't mind bending that rule a little bit. So I completely had forgotten that the Bondsman um, event shows up the turn after you finish the dual mission against the clans. So the last time we tried negative, and it didn't show up in the hiring hall. So I don't know if they will or not. Um, let's try again to see if we can get another mech warrior. We got one berth available, so let's try it. If we do get one, great. If we don't, well, that's fine too. So, um, claims you as my bondsman. Um, they pull their arm behind them. My honor will not allow me to become a bondsman. I claim my right of refusal, and that's it for him. Yeah, from what I understand, the reader isn't the right of refusal. Don't they? They don't like commit suicide or something. I can't. I don't, I don't know. I'm. I'm not that well versed in the clan, so I don't know 100. percent But anyway, it's uh, loss of a pilot. No problem. We'll keep trying. Uh, I don't know if you have to be a certain um, at a certain level with the clans to be able to get that to work or not. But um, we'll certainly keep trying and see how it goes. Anyway, end of the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Till next time, we'll see you later.